So we were offended in 1972 because of a man named Paul Cavan. Uh, he went missing in February and he was found in March and his father and his uncles actually set up the organisation in April of 1972. It started basically because of one person and it's evolved into saving so many people now on a daily basis. We're the longest organisation in the town itself and it's, we've come a long way since then. We rely totally on funding from the town and grants as such, like there's no government funding, that we're not paid to do it, we do it off our own bat and everything that's voluntary and we work for what we have. It's all about volunteering and giving your own time and give what you can and do what you can. And we all do the same job at the end of the day, we're all there doing the same thing because we want to do it, it's not because we're getting paid, it's the want of doing it. We were actually the first ones in Ireland to start the patrols and then when people saw you know, that we were preventing a lot of people from entering the war, there's actually been other search and rescues around the country that have now followed suit. It's never easy to see anything, it's never easy to see a family in distress or even to think of somebody that could go to some extreme that they're just so low they'd have to do, you know, end their life. That would be the worst part of the job, unfortunately. You see a lot of things in six years. Um, well, I have anyway. Um, good things and bad things. It's hard to balance out a social life and family life at the same time. I mean, it can be done, but it can be pretty difficult. If you get a call to go, you just you up and you go. There's no kind of stopping and talking about it. It could be 24-7, it could be a couple of hours a week, but it's very dependent on the, the circumstance. It started out just kind of very superficial, you know, um, driving boats and things, but then you really get to see the ups and downs of it. And you do kind of grow up a little bit when you see, you know, real life situations come to light. You know, it's not, you know, a TV show, it's real life. I don't think I could ever give it up now once you kind of sign your life away. <laughs>